Russia's legislation to protect victims of domestic violence has faced a series of proposed changes over the past decade. Straddling the line between protecting victims and appeasing conservative proponents of, quote, family values. The Ministry of the Interior reports that 3% of the total number of women killed in Russia were murdered by partners or relatives. However, according to a 2021 study, activists argue that number is closer to 61%. Activists have complained that domestic violence allegations are not taken seriously by law enforcement, dissuading victims from reporting these crimes. Yet, in 2017, Russia decriminalized acts of domestic violence that did not cause severe injury. The new legislation was viewed by activists as a concerning setback in the fight for victims' rights. The latest attempt to reform domestic violence legislation was made in 2019. Developed in consultation with activists, the new draft bill was actively promoted by Duma member Oksana Pushkina. However, when the draft bill was posted for public comment, activists argued that it was too watered down. The new provisions focused on keeping the family together, offered an incomplete definition of domestic violence, did not protect unmarried partners, and placed the responsibility on victims to report abuse. Critics of enhanced domestic violence legislation paint the issue as an attack on the private lives of families in the country. In trying to legislate family matters, opponents of the law claim that the state is attempting to undermine the traditional family structure and control how parents discipline children. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, discussion on this draft law has been paused with no clear plans to resume debate, although in early 2021, the Russian Constitutional Court and Supreme Court alike recommended better protections for survivors. In the meantime, women's rights advocates globally have acknowledged the danger that lockdown measures and quarantine have posed for victims. In response, crisis centers extended hotline hours to run 24-7, even as some of these same Russian organizations are being targeted under the Kremlin's foreign agent law. It remains to be seen how domestic violence legislation will evolve in Russia. However, a majority of Russians have voiced support for reform and the robust response from activists signal that the problem will not be pushed out of the public eye.